Yes. Take a question there, please. Would you raise your hand and identify yourself? Yeah. Uh, Archil Gigeshidze, Ambassador of Georgia. <clears throat> um, I, I have a remark, actually, not the, <clears throat> not the question. Um, Mr. Uh, President Sakashvili, <clears throat> with all my due respect to your personality, we know each other many, many years. Um, I have to admit that uh, I expected uh, on your side more complete picture of uh, what has happened and what's happening in and around Georgia. In your description, unfortunately, I saw a distorted picture of both the past and the present. Um, okay, of course, uh, the transformation since 2003 have brought a major change in Georgia. The lights were on, streets were safe. Uh, well, and, um, uh, and the um, public services were clean from corruption. But as uh, Oriental uh, wisdom says, not everything that shines is gold. Unfortunately, this change was brought only due to a robust executive branch power at the expense of weakening checks and balances in democratic institutions, which uh, at some point uh, tempted uh, uh, this uh, distorted power balance uh, to uh, abuse uh, the power. And uh, this is why uh, which is, this is why the, uh, uh, result, the elections in 2012 ended as they ended. Could I, I ask you to ask yeah. a question, please? The yes. question is that uh, I would expect that you, you would explain why, uh, uh, why people uh, would, uh, would uh, vote against you in 2012. You explained it because of feudal mentality, which is very humiliating to Georgia, Georgians. Uh, because of, uh, I mean, mental backwardness of Georgians who cannot understand what is progressive and what is, I mean, advancing them to the higher standards of okay. living. Okay. But in fact, what we saw was uh, a style of governance which was unacceptable for Georgians. We got the point. I'm asking everybody to make brief questions as we have been asking everybody. So if that's your question, then yeah. let's well, give them a chance I think, and give uh, everybody else a chance. I would, respond, I would respond with what Li Kuan Yew said. Uh, in his last book, uh, he said that any uh, successful government, especially very successful ones, would be voted out from office in maximum 10 years uh, in free elections because of the fact that people want to change, see change. And more success, uh, successful governments are, more they will want to see the change. And then he added, that's why I never did free and fair elections um, in Singapore. Now, in Georgia, we did free and fair elections, and we, did give, we gave people this choice, and people opted for something which would be better. Uh, obviously, uh, elections have cost, and my people, I'm very proud of Georgian people. When I talk about feudal mentality, I'm talking of feudal mentality of that corrupt elite, which is now back, unfortunately, in many in their majority, uh, the helms of my, my society in my country. But obviously, I would not be sitting here, and I today did manifesto uh, on Facebook to address Georgian people about our future programs, and I addressed it to my compatriots. I would not have been doing all that if I had not believed in the creative force of my people, because these reforms we did, uh, these new places we built, I didn't do it with my own hands. I tried to let them believe they could do it, but they, they did it themselves, and I'm very proud of my people. Uh, uh, Ambassador, uh, I don't envy your position. We have several former ambassadors here in the hall, and they're much more free to speak their mind. That I really wish you that you'll come to a situation where you'll also be one day free to uh, <laughs> think what you uh, say, what you think. But uh, one thing I can say in the conclusion: um, uh, the uh, but I, you said not everything is gold that shines. But there is also another saying: yeah, maybe not everything was gold that was shining. Uh, under me in Georgia, but it was still shining, right? Uh, something that applies to present situation now in Georgia is that if it looks like certain substance, if it smells like certain substance, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and I don't know, know whether this smell bothers you, but it bothers certainly uh, most of my compatriots already, according to every poll. People think their country is moving in the wrong direction, overwhelmingly. 
and it bothers all the friends of Georgia outside, and you know it as well as I do because you are in this town. Thank you. Okay.